Do you love yourself enough? Do you know why people don't love themselves? And what we need to do to love ourselves better? This video I was planning to do like a special, you know, 1K subscriber video. If you have not subscribed yet to my channel, please hit the subscribe button now. You know, make it to reach 1000 subscribers. If you're on Instagram or Twitter, please can you also follow me? Yeah, my Instagram that's coming up here, I think so. So that's the Instagram and that is my Twitter as well. You can follow me, you can carry on chatting there. But now, just use the comment box below. Tell me your view. So, yeah, the question is, why you don't love yourself as much that you love the other person that you're in love with. I think I, I want this kind of to understand who you are or who are we. For you to be who you are today, there is so much that happened. Let's start with your creation. Your mom your dad shares so much good feeling, so much love to make you. So you are a result of a love. Whatever you describe that love, that's up to you. But the fundamental thing is that you are a result of a love of a feeling that is so difficult to put in word, to describe. And beyond that, look at the universe. The universe conspire to put everything together, to put the moment right for you to be born, to be who you are. There is some phenomena that happen within your dad, within your mom, for you to be here. You fought so many buttons in your mom's wound before you come up. So there is so much unknown question that were answered before you became who you are. So you are a result of a love. How can you or how can we not understand that? How can we not look inward and consider ourselves as a unique, as a priceless human being? I don't know exactly what pushes us to love other people, to fall in love with other people, to love other people madly. I don't know what is that, but I know that it's the same love that you can direct to yourself internally. How, how to do that? Basically, it's simple. Consider yourself as the person who you want to love or the person that you love. What do you do for that person? Turn it around. Do for yourself. In any relationship, in any loving relationship, you know, what happens is that, you know, that's how I understand love, yeah? Just bear with me. In any loving relationship, is that you, the person that is loving the other one, you do everything is in your power. You give the best that you can give to the other person so that the other person should be happy. When we are in love, we want to make the other person happy. And also, come to say that the other person as well need to give the best that they can give to you. So when those two sides give the best that they can give and then they meet each other, everybody going to be very happy in that loving relationship. 
So it's not about me, my action for me to be happy, but my action is for the other person to be happy. If I am in a position I can buy the moon for that person, I will buy it for that person because I love the person. If I'm in a position that I cannot buy the moon for that person, so let be it. That's not in my power. But I will do everything possible in my power for that person without expecting something in return. And when the person does the same thing, so that I get everything back. So that's how I can describe a loving relationship is. It's not about you as an individual, but it's about the other person, about the happiness of the other person, about the joy of the other person, about the security of the other person, and so and so. So, to love yourself is that you consider yourself as other person and do everything in your power to accept yourself and to give the best that you can give for yourself. That means you need to take care of yourself in terms of health. You need to take care of yourself in terms of development, mental development. You need to take care of yourself, your place in the universe. And when we put all those things together, you will find that it's easy to love yourself. And when you love yourself, you don't feel lonely because you will enjoy being with yourself. And when you love yourself, other people will love you. Do you know why? Because we, human beings, are energy. And we mirror other people's energy. And when you love yourself, you're radiant and you portray energy of love, peace, happiness. And other people will mirror that. It's like when we are children, we mirror our parent. Action, movement, talking is the same. We are energy. And the energy can be negative or can be positive can be hate or can be love, can be understanding or can be mean, uh, misunderstanding. It is for us to make sure that the energy that we want to radiate are energy of love by starting by loving yourself. When I see people saying, when we take picture yet, yeah, that's when you understand if you love yourself unconditionally. When you start criticizing or you say, oh, I don't like this picture, oh, no, this picture is this, or, oh, no, let me, well, I, I need to take this position, then my, my best part of me is gonna come up. And when you say that, that means that there's part of you that you don't like. There's a future on you that you don't like. And you need to correct that so that you can love yourself unconditionally and fully. If let's say today, yeah, I decided that, you know, I don't like my nose and I'm going to go to surgery and then change it, I pull it. Or I don't like my eyes that are too small, I want to widen up. Or I don't like my skill and I want to change it. If I do that, then for you, I'm going to be a different person. It's not the same. Who you see today, that's why your memory remember. With that nose, with that mouth, with that eye. So that's who you know. If I change anything out of that, so that is another person, is not me anymore. And let's take my experiences, good or bad, and those experiences that make my memory. And if I'm nostalgic, I'm only remember those experiences that make me. If you change any of them, 
then it's going to be any other person. It's no me. So it is important that I see myself the way I am, how I am, and I need to be truthful for that. You need to be truthful of yourself because there is no two of you and there is no copy of you also. You are the original and be the original and stay the original and love that originality that is you. Whether that you like something part of you, you want to change it or not, accept it. We have very limited time in this universe. You're not going to get a second chance. The chance that you have now, that's what it is, and enjoy. Thank you. I hope you know you like this video. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, press the like. And above all, I want you to comment. Tell me what do you think, why we don't love ourselves so much. And what should we do to love ourselves? Thank you and God bless you. I will see you next time.